So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and add a blur in a video on CapCut. Now, doing this is actually fairly basic, doesn't take too much time. What you want to do is you want to open up your CapCut application, and you want to go and create a new project, or an existing project if you already have it. I'm going to go and bring in some random video for myself. So I'll go and bring in like this screen recording I made a long time ago. So I'll go and come into here, and I'll go and click Add. Now you can see this is just a standard screen recording, whatever. Now if I wanted to blur this video, I don't know what type of blurring you want to basically do, but luckily CapCut has a lot of blurring effects. So what we want to do is you want to go and basically come into our effects panel. So you don't want to tap on the video, you want to basically tap out of the video here, and you should see a little panel here that says effects. So tap on effects, and then what we can do is find this little panel right here that says video effects. So tap on video effects, and this thing's going to come up. Now you can start searching for tons of different effects all throughout your phone if you really want to, but if you want to look for a blur, tap on the little search bar up here, and then type in blur just like this, and you should be able to hop out of here, and you can see there are tons of blur options. So luckily for you, you can kind of configure this whichever way you want to. Again, I don't know what type of blurring you basically want to do, but right here for video effects, you do have a lot of options. So what we can do is we want to do like a blur close or whatever. We have this option. If you just want a standard blur, I think this one may end up doing the job. You can also do motion blur. So I do wonder if I tap on this, if I download it, if I tap on it, you can see I can click on adjust and I can configure how much blurring I want. I can go and just change the range or whatever. So that's one option. You can also do this blur close right here. So it'll start blurring as you get further and further into the video. So you can see I completely blur this video just like this. So that's another option that you have. You also do blur close, which is this one. So you can see it's just blurring the whole entire video from this point on. Same thing with lens blur, basically just blurs the whole lens I'm assuming. You can also do this one. So you have a lot of options here. Now when you choose one, I guess you can just go and click on here, click on okay. And then you can just hop out of this one. So you can just click out of here and click accept. So now this video from the beginning to the end is going to be blurred. So you can see the beginning, it's fine, but then it starts blurring more and more as you get further into the video. I think you can adjust this so you can see that, you know, if I get closer to the beginning, it's not blurred, but then it blurs. I think you can change this out to adjust it. You can try and kind of change the blur of it. I think if you click on speed faster, then it blurs faster. So it only blurs for the first second, then it kind of goes on. But that's basically how it's done. You can blur more or you can blur less. It really just depends. So I'll let you kind of configure this whichever way you want. But that's basically how it's done. And now you can just kind of go through your video. You can blur the parts that you don't want. And then you can kind of configure it further. And that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.